Here comes the bride, in the very near future. Mere days before Amy Roloff is set to walk down the aisle with Chris Merrick, we have our first look at exactly where she'll be walking down the aisle, courtesy of her ex-husband. Earlier this week, the Little People Big World Patriarch announced to his many Instagram followers that he's completed work on Amy's wedding chapel. Yes, despite not being invited to the ceremony or reception, Matt has been hard at work getting his farm ready for the major occasion. Pretty cool of him, isn't it? That feeling you get when you make beautiful buildings together, wrote Matt as a caption to photos. Thanks Loringer brothers, Rick, Ray, Dan and Rocky, for another amazing building and helping me chase my vision. These guys have been doing my building gymnastics for almost 20 years, now let's let Ray go fishing. Earlier this month, Roloff shared photos of the progress of the construction as it was nearing completion. Pulling out all the stops, 16 days and counting, Roloff Farms is looking good. A huge thank you to the team at Jeldwen USA Windows, he wrote back then, adding. Not only a fantastic product, I'm a new friend for life, but they delivered on budget and ahead of schedule. Matt, of course, was married to Amy for nearly 30 years. They split in 2016, share four adult children and continued to film Little People Big World together. The former spouses are pretty darn close, all things considered, and yet Amy has decided not to include Matt or his girlfriend Karen Chandler among her wedding attendees. Chris and I debated whether to invite Matt and Karen to the wedding, but we decided against it. Amy sat on the season's finale a few weeks ago, adding, I think it causes less drama and I think that's better for everyone. Hard to blame Amy here, isn't it? Especially when you remember that Amy has said in the past that Matt cheated on her with Chandler. In a confessional on the same aforementioned finale, meanwhile, Merrick further explained the basis for not inviting Matt and Karen to the August 28th nuptials. Initially, when Matt offered us the farm, I thought it was a given that we invite him and Karen to join us if they'd like to, you know, no obligation, he said on air. But then I saw where it could be awkward for some people that were going to be at the wedding, and especially maybe for Amy. Matt, for his part, seems totally fine with heading to Arizona this weekend. I am going to be going to the honeymoon, though, Matt joked on the finale, causing Chris to crack up in laughter. According to an insider for The Sun, Matt and Chandler plans to head to Arizona for a romantic break where they have a vacation home on the date Amy and Chris exchange vows. They got Amy and Chris a little gift to show their appreciation as they're on much better terms, but they're glad they won't be attending. It would be too weird for everyone. Matt and Karen just want them to be able to do their own thing and feel it will be over before they know it. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.